Hey, dolls. So after 130 plus hours, I managed to finish Elden Ring. Yeah. Did it mostly on my own. Yes, I used the Mimic tier. It's part of the game. It counts. It also messed up my sleep schedule for two weeks, and I could barely do anything else with my life. But I became the new Elden Lord. That, that, that'll make my parents happy. So I'm taking a break from games for a bit, and I am working on part two of Colossal Misunderstandings. It's gonna be very long. I got Elden Ring and Fumito Ueda's games in my brain because of this, and you know, I've noticed people pointing out a couple of Easter eggs within Elden Ring, but I don't really see anyone talk about Ueda's influences on this game, which is tragic. I've decided to be the one to bring them up. Yeah, because it's worth bringing up. That being said, major spoilers ahead for Elden Ring. So if you have not finished the game at least once, well, you've been warned. I will wait 130 plus hours for you. So go ahead and finish it. Elden Ring takes place in the Lands Between that is governed by the Greater Will through a divine law known as the Golden Order. The Golden Order is manifested physically as the Elden Ring, which is contained within the Erd Tree at the center of the Lands Between. The vessel for the Golden Order is Queen Merica the Eternal, who has many demigod children. One day, the Elden Ring is shattered and the largest fragments, called Great Runes, are held by her demigod children, making them Shardbearers. You, a Tarnished, are here to defeat the Shardbearers and to go to the Ur Tree to restore the Elden Ring and become the new Elden Lord. To find the Shardbearers, you follow the Guidance of Grace, beams of light that shows you the path to take. Ueda's most celebrated game is arguably Shadow of the Colossus. That game takes place in the Forbidden Lands, and at its center is the Shrine of Worship, wherein the deity that once ruled the lands, Dormin, rests. Dormin was torn apart, and 16 parts of their body and power were placed inside living statues known as the Colossus. You, a young warrior named Wander, are here to defeat the Colossus to free the essence of Dormin from them, so you can bring the young woman named Mono Soul back to her body. In order to find the Colossus, you must follow the sun's reflection off your sword. When the beams of light come together, it reveals your path to take. In Elden Ring, there are beings known as Omen, which, according to the Margit and Moog Shackle description, are accursed people. Why are they considered accursed? Well, the Omen Bairn and Regal Omen Bairn answer that. The Omen Bairn states that Omen babies have all their horns excised, causing most to perish. These fetishes are made to memorialize them. Please don't hate me or curse me. Please. The Regal Omen Bairn is very interesting. Doll of a curse born Bairn from the Erd Tree's royal line. Omen babies born of royalty do not have their horns excised but instead are kept underground, unbeknownst to anyone, in prison for eternity. This reminded me of Ego and how children born with horns were believed to be cursed and were taken to the castle in the mist to be sacrificed. <laughs> We learn in Shadow of the Colossus that Ego and the other horned children are descended from Wander, who, after taking in Dormin's essence, was transformed and grew horns on his head. While Wander is cleansed of Dormin at the end of the game, and thus reborn, he continues to bear horns as a penance for his sin of performing the forbidden ritual. And this sin is passed down to his children. There are a couple of other homages as well.
overall, this is just a silly little video, so don't take it too seriously. I'm just having some fun. And if you enjoyed that, do consider subscribing to my channel. I will provide more videos on whatever I want. That's uh, pretty much what it comes down to. But thanks for watching. You've been a doll.